Hey guys, I'm totally not Spider Guy. And I'm Carnage Guy. And today we're back with Band of Brothers, and we're going to be checking out episode 5 called Crossroads. And thank you guys for all the comments, letting us know about Operation Market and all the comments we've been getting of people telling us information about how the rifle grenades are used and the history and even stuff continuing on to this day. We like to read that and appreciate it, so thank you. But let's just go ahead and hop right into it. But uh, he was he was one of the best. He went right in there and he didn't know. Uh... They talking about winters? I don't know how he survived. But he did. No spoilers. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know how he survived, but he did. Part five. Crossroads. Emmer guy must be running too. No. <laughs> A German? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> October 17th, 1944. Holland. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Oh, goodness. Damn it. Anyone ever have to wake you up like that? Oh, that's my own or just piss, for rough? Christ's sake. No. That was this pee? Oh. Yeah, I was like, that was really yellow. I don't think that was beer. <laughs> so it looked like piss. Nixon, Heiliger. Meet Colonel Dovey, British First Airborne. Captain Nixon is our second battalion S2, a rescue operation for the Red Devils who were trapped when Arnhem fell. Dutch resistance are harboring 140 of my chaps here. Just outside of Jerry Hell Town, 15 miles north of the river. Look at the collaboration with the Brits. Yes, sir. Dick. Sir. Still waiting to write citations on that 5 October operation. I need your report. The report, yes, sir. Light a fire under it, Dick. Sir. Just to write up a report? Yup. Just like being a cop. No. Uh-uh. I haven't <laughs> had to do that. <laughs> you haven't <laughs> had to do that? Uh. Well, I like, if you ever arrest somebody... Yeah. Thank you. Got a doggo. German Shepherd? It is. Well, that's a lot of territory to cover. It's all quiet. We got penetration! <laughs> Allie, sir, we need Alright, get him on the table. Oh. Yeah, it's Allie. Feet! Weapons and ammo only! Give me room! Let's move! Let's go! Let's go! Move. Is he shot or was there a mine or something? <laughs> Alright, let's get this done quickly. We gotta move. Not too yeah. much. An explosive hey, or something. There was several holes. Oh, enemy grenade. Grenades. Oh, so that's interesting. This whole episode is him typing up the report, and we're watching it. Watching as he types it. it. Yeah. MG42. Yeah. What the hell are they shooting? At? Hold it here. Wait for Let's you. take a peek. Thank goodness there's so many uh, curves and mountains in uh -huh. this area. Imagine if it's just a flat field road. Do you understand any of that? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I think you'd be saying that there's two of them over there or something. And typewriters would be rough if you mess up a word or mistype, misclick. <laughs> the whole it's thing's like, messed bye. up. <laughs> Moving in to check it out. It's just some civilian wanted to try out the gun. <laughs> yeah, I just found it. German yelling. Oh, that's a lot of them. Well, it definitely wasn't him saying there's only two of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know hands and arm signals like that. There's probably some similarities with the ones that we do, but... Like hold, like the one he did, that we do that. Yeah. Second on the right, machine gun. Second on the left. Signing everyone to a target? Mm-hmm. What are they shooting at? They were totally re open. Okay. 
<laughs> well, they got a lot of them. Oh, he's oh, not going no. to get that machine gun. Try writing the first person plural, you know. Say we a lot. Thanks for the tip. Bayonets. It's cool how they show a close up on uh, fixing it. Yeah. When's the last time anyone's shot, though? The smoke didn't detonate. There okay. we go. Yeah. <laughs> just, just took a minute. Right. This is where we see him go over the hill and shoot that German. Yep. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh my, oh God. my Look goodness! <laughs> the shit that That's a lot. He's just gonna Holy stand fuck. there. Winters, take cover, dude. <laughs> Holy fuck! There's so many. Really? That's actually British special forces just dressed, trying to infiltrate. Oh, no. <laughs> just, <laughs> no, they're they're definitely Germans. Welcome to D-Day 2.0. No. Yeah. Oh, there's more? Oh, man. It's a whole other company! Oh, shit! I'm sure the browning would shine right here, huh? <laughs> Those mortars would be so helpful right now. <laughs> They're pretty close, it looks like, at least from the point of views, too. It's like probably 100 meters. 50 to 100 meters? Yeah. What you saying? He's telling me that they're Polish. Oh, no. There ain't no Poles in the SS! <laughs> Germans and forest people like uh, the Poles and uh, Czechoslovakians to fight for them. They forced them? Yeah. After gotcha. they took them over. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Easy company, take cover! Come on, help me! Someone grab his helmet. He did. <laughs> What an ambush, though. <laughs> but they all probably didn't want to be there. No. <laughs> Jesus, Captain. They're SS. Oh. Oh, they're SS, huh? Joe, knock it off. Damn it, what? You need to take these prisoners back to battalion CP. Get yourself cleaned up. What if he walks up to some guy who tries to fight back? Round. Johnny, how many prisoners do we have? Got 11 right now, sir. I want all prisoners back up Italian CP alive. Damn. Yeah. One round. One of the Germans saw that and they'd all jump him anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Exim away. Split them up. Yes, sir. Then they hit us with their 88 zeroed in on this crossroad. Now, we were lucky, That's the though. name of the episode. Only 22 the wounded. crossroads. Lucky. Captain Winters? It's right down there, sir. With what looks like very few allied injuries as well. In comparison, at least. Yeah. Two-page report. Rough. No double-sided pages back then. <laughs> you got a drink? Of water? Yeah, it's water. <laughs> I did check. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The amount of trouble we would get in if we did shit like that. <laughs> it's an article right there. Made a run for my CP down the road. Third battalion got the hell beat out of him. Sir? I'm moving you up to executive officer, second battalion. They're promoting him out of easy? Or two different battalions? What do you think would be taking over easy, sir? I know, yeah. Moose Heiliger can command easy company. Finish your novel yet? A lot of homework. And I thought executive officer was supposed to be a fun job. Who are you? Zelensky, sir. Zelensky? I suppose you do stuff like get coffee. Can do, sir. Black, no sugar. No, I'll just rub it in a little bit. Moose is going to lead his first mission as company commander. Operation Pegasus is set to go off. I thought I might give you the heads up. Pegasus. Never heard of this one. Everybody know their job? We drilled with the boats all day. Lieutenant Welsh is coming along and the Canadian engineers. This is uh, to rescue the 
missing Brits. Straight into easy company. Oh, that British guy is with them, too. A few couple of them are just going in to rescue me. Bring back. I'm gonna come running back with like a battalion chasing them. <laughs> like that scene in Pirates of the Caribbean where Jack yeah. Sparrow's just like running away from the natives. <laughs> Ready to go, sir. Where's the rest of you? That's a lot of them. And here we all are. Oh, they got them all out. And the American 101st have done the Red Devils a great service. Yeah. Halloween, 1944. Wow. Yeah, Holland. Combat commanded. Train your new platoon leaders. Halt! It's moved! Oh! Hold your fire! No! Friendly fire. Okay. Bratcher's side. I'm so Yikes. sorry, I didn't know. Jesus Christ. Where are you from, Trooper? Wyoming, sir. Now you're a long way from home, Private. You're going back. So no. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I got, like, halt, and then just immediate open fire. Like, what? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to kill him? It was two. You don't think it might be important to let me know how much He didn't even have time to stop, like... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> December, France. So what does that mean? Winter's back in charge, or someone else? Learn if we hear from Moose. Lieutenant Heiliger, sir. Oh, he's still alive. Yay. He's recovering, but it's gonna be a long haul. <laughs> Thought he died. <laughs> it's like, fuck. What are you telling me? You, my friend, are headed to Paris. City of Light. That's a 48 hour pass. It's been decided that you need a little dose of civilization. Harry! But a lot of US soldiers, so. It's still hardly putty. The place is packed. Yeah. Interesting transition. His PTSD. I was like, it's settling in. The German kid from the intro shot. Yeah. Yeah. This train stopped, Monsieur. Get out of here with that weak ass salute. Not <laughs> American Red Cross over there. The Ritz Hotel, too. Yeah. I don't want to see him in the bath. No. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> Where you been? I've been looking all over for you. Well done. I was at home in Tonawanda, but then Hitler started this whole thing, so now I'm here. <laughs> I've seen this before. That can be arranged too. That looks dead. Fuck. Yeah, that guy was in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> or he was in his own head. Yeah, probably that. Probably that. Oh. Come on. We gotta move through in the Arden Forest. The Ardennes Forest. Oh no. We're getting there. <laughs> The freezing cold with low ammo. It's too damn cold. Hey, stand by, guys. I've been holding this for the last hour. Get that right there. <laughs> this area is known as Bastogne. Bastogne. There was a limited supply in camp, sir. Captain, you beg borrow or steal ammo. But you defend this area. Use your knives if you have to, but you defend this area. Injured men? Looks like it. What the hell is going on? Hey, you're going the wrong way. Hey, hey, pal. Hey, hey, pal. They came out of nowhere. They slaughtered us. You gotta get out of here. You just got here. Give me your ammo. Give me your ammo. <laughs> hey, who's got ammo? Got ammo? Got ammo? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works. Grab what you can! Nice. Lieutenant, you're a godsend. Looks like all the ammo in the world can save you from uh, what's about to come, though. Yeah. <laughs> Artie and infantry just kept on coming. What's your name, Lieutenant? Sir George Rice, 10th Armor. Looks like you guys are going to be surrounded. We're paratroopers, Lieutenant. 
We're supposed to be surrounded. Hey, that's an iconic line. <laughs> that's a motto. Gary, the Brett, Bastone. Bastone. They're going to. And then what's that last one? Cumont. But they're going to Bastone. They're going to Bastone. Winters is ready to write another novel. <laughs> yeah, another report. <laughs> Is a company moved into the woods near Bastogne without any artillery or air support. It was short of food, am ammo, and lacked winter clothing. Furthest from your mind is the thought of falling back. In fact, it isn't there at all, and so you dig your hole carefully and deep and wait. Kurahi Scrapbook. Wow. That was a good episode. Yeah, guys, that was episode 5 of Band of Brothers. We're progressing through the war. It's pretty cool to see a series... Kind of, I knew that guy looked familiar, Lieutenant George Rice. The guy towards the end, that was Jimmy Fallon. Okay, I thought the same thing. I, thought, I, I was wasn't going to say like, anything because like it was like, Jimmy it was Fallon. a little bit like that Jimmy Fallon. I wanted, to, yeah, I, wanted to, I wanted to say something, but I was like, yeah, but there's no way. <laughs> Recognizable and still a scumbag. Well, I don't know if he was back then, but yeah. And that scene though when they went over the hill and just the, the horde of Germans just like, That was crazy, yeah. I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't recall what happens at Bastogne, but we'll get to see. We we know the outcome overall at least. I wonder if we'll get to see them to the very end into Germany as well. But yeah. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Later. <laughs>